you think of Nick Moore this morning getting a gold medal around his neck? Oh, it's always great. Um, I think the best part about Nick being over there is that uh, he's not here in the summertime getting lazy. You know, uh, he's staying in shape and uh, really working hard. So when he come back, he's going to be ready to go in season shape. You know? And that's going to carry over, you know, summer workouts, uh, preseason. You know, they're still our leader, and we're ready, we ready for him to get back. And I'm proud of him. Senior year, does this offseason feel a little different for you? Oh, uh, this offseason is a lot different for me. Um, I got a lot, a lot of stuff ahead of me, a lot of uh, opportunities. And um, I think for me, deciding to come back to school for my senior year was huge. And uh, I sat down with Coach Brown, and um, we talked about what all has to be done this year. Uh, you know, from me being a leader and actually being a senior uh, to having three freshmen. We had no freshmen last year. So a lot of things changed, and um, I got to play a different role than I was, than I played last year. Uh, I'm, and I'm ready. So, so what, factors went into, what factors went into that decision to come back? Um, definitely a lot. Uh, last, the, our, the last loss we had, that, that was huge. And... Um, and me and Nick sat down, we kind of want to finish where we started, you know. Uh, I, I didn't feel right kind of leaving him by himself. You know, me and him the only seniors this year. I mean, besides uh, JT, but he hasn't even played a game. So it's, it's kind of like me and Nick really were here from the beginning. I mean, Nick Russell, Sean Williams, and then Ryan and Cannon were the last two from the first from our first year here four years ago. And that was just me and Nick. And, it's, and I, I, I sat down and talked to him, and he kind of asked me what was I going to do. and. and I'm honest, I was I was out of here, you know, and uh, we kind of sat down and talked for like a good two weeks, like every single day. And uh, when I made the decision to come back, Nick and losing to UCLA was the two main things. So that's really what made it. Making it to the tournament last year for the first time in such a long time in the program history, what type of, did you guys kind of build on that success from last year heading into this season? What are your expectations for this upcoming season? Um, that was a different team last year. Uh, Different players. I mean, same players, but everybody's grown. You know, um, Sterling and Ben, uh, both Bens have gotten so much better from from the last game till now. Everybody's working uh, so much hard, so much harder in summer workouts than we did last year. It's like regular practice. Like that's how it feels out there now in the summertime. We didn't have that feeling last year, and I, I think uh, with, with our freshmen here and, and and everybody having that bad taste in their mouth, it's kind of. You, you get the same feel like or we this is where we left off at but I don't think anybody mindset is like that you know we, we got a different team um, new coaches in different positions uh, players are taking on different roles so we're not the same team as we are we were last year and uh I'm I'm actually looking uh, forward, uh, forward to this season pretty excited with how different this team is from last year how, how much has this program changed since you walked on campus the first time? Oh, uh, man, it's crazy. You know, uh, it's still unbelievable sometimes when, when you walk through campus and, and you got to stop and take pictures with, like, visitors and stuff. It's still – it's like when I first got here, nobody even knew who I was. Even though I transferred from Villanova, nobody even thought to ask me any questions. Now it's like when you go eat, go to class, you're in constant conversation with people just about basketball, how the team's going to look this year, uh, how it should be looking, how the freshmen. There's always questions about the season. And it just gets me excited to know everybody else is just, ex just as excited. You say that the best thing about Nick being over there is that he doesn't have the opportunity to get lazy over the summer. How do you avoid that yourself? Oh, uh, uh, I just got a lot, a lot more motivation. You know, um, a after seeing uh, the draft and, and – Combines and the contracts that everybody's getting in the NBA right now is kind of like how you not get yourself in shape, you know, how you not be ready for your last college basketball year. So, I mean, that's just where my head's at right now. With this. You've mentioned the transfers, Tolbert and Shemi, and how hard the practices have been. How have those two guys looked in practice, and what are those two guys going to bring to your team? Starters, in my eyes, both of them. Right now, how I see it. What kind of difference can that make on this team if that's the case and it plays out that way? I mean, uh, Shimmy's 6'7", six, 6'8". Six, we call him Sim Brown. So uh, if that, if that uh, helps any, like, he's real physical and um, can shoot the ball, athletic. And, and JT uh, is the same exact way, just in the post. You know, uh, they're both real physical and, and got a great IQ basketball-wise. And I think that's going to help, especially playing for Coach Brown. You know, you got, you got to know the game. So, and they both know how to play, and they can translate what they have skill-wise onto the basketball court and hit to his system, we're we going to be pretty good.
What are some of the differences and similarities between your game and JT's game? Uh, I think JT with a little bit more power. Yeah, that's probably it. How do you think? Cannon and Yannick on, is it up to Tolbert to clear out some space and give you some room to move underneath? Uh, uh, we want to go uh, four all one in, so I don't know how we gonna do that. We still still working working out the kinks in that one, but um, I think me and JT play well off each other. You know, uh, he get, he's another offensive threat, so he gives me somebody to pass the ball to down low when I get double team, and um, then he helps Nick out, helps all our guards out. You know, uh, when they can throw the ball down to either block and, and know that you can get a bucket, so it's kind of it's kind of just a relief to have somebody down there. I know. That, that matches well with me. I kind of, uh, when he first got on campus, uh, I was talking to Coach KT. I said, we're going to be like Marcus Saw and, um, and Zebo next year. So <laughs> that's what I think. Calling yeah, a guy exactly. anything that even resembles LeBron is a lot of pressure to put on a guy's shoulders. What about his game makes you think he can do it today? Y'all going to see today. I mean, uh, he jumps out the gym. He can shoot. He's fast. He's strong. Like He's really uh, – a beast. I mean, I, I didn't believe it when I when he first came on a visit and stuff. Like, but seeing him in a weight room on the court every single day is like he he, he got it. And I don't know why he didn't play it. So, but we I'm glad we got him. Anything else, guys?